worries ka ba ngayong extra likot na si baby? Wala! Sa new Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. Saan man tingnan? Sa itaas? Sa ibaba? And on both sides? Comfortable si baby? Shh! Nagwiwiwi. New Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. Absorbs wiwi faster, kaya expert sa dryness. Extra flexible din, kaya comfy kumalaw. Anong mang likot ni baby? Iyan ang complete comfort. Pag extra likot na si baby, try the expert sa comfort. New Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. <laughs> Mula sa una mong iyak, hanggang sa una nating yakap, wala akong ibang iniisip, kundi ang alagaan ka. Ang Huggies Dry Newborn ay may Runny Poo Lake Guard. At all-around cottony softness, kasama mong mag-aalaga mula sa una hanggang sa susunod pang mga yakap. Huggies Dry Newborn. Also available, Huggies Pure Clean Wipes. Change was a distant word. There was a time that would only encounter it a few times in a decade. Today, I know that every day will bring change. There will be moments where I'll embrace it. But most of the time, I know I'll resist, hoping to fold the edge of the page of what has become my favorite story yet. I knew you before I met you. That's a funny thing. But I still had so many questions about you and to ask you. The pain with which you came left me breathless. From then on, nothing has been the same. I see myself in you, and in the same time, I see all that you do through you. Discovering every color and note with you. Learning how to smile despite the weirdness. Developing the handy skill of doing everything half asleep. Staring helplessly at every how-to-parent guide available. Those first few months felt like a blink. So I kept my eyes open hoping that I wouldn't miss a thing. These moments are rare, but I know that even for a little while, on days like today, when the wind is still and the sun lingers, I can take a mental picture and hold on to this memory, comforted that it will never change. Mommy Ann, may diaper worries ka ba ngayong extra likot na si baby? Wala! Sa new Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. Saan man tingnan? Sa itaas? Sa ibaba? And on both sides? Comfortable si baby? Shh! Nagwiwiwi. New Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. Absorbs wiwi faster, kaya expert sa dryness. Extra flexible din, kaya comfy kumalaw. Anong mang likot ni baby? Iyan ang complete comfort. Pag extra likot na si baby, try the expert sa comfort. New Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. <laughs> Mula sa una mong iyak, hanggang sa una nating yakap, wala akong ibang iniisip, kundi ang alagaan ka. Ang Huggies Dry Newborn ay may Runny Poo Lake Guard. At all-around cottony softness, kasama mong mag-aalaga mula sa una hanggang sa susunod pang mga yakap. Huggies Dry Newborn. Also available, Huggies Pure Clean Wipes. Change was a distant word. There was a time that would only encounter it a few times in a decade. Today, I know that every day will bring change. There will be moments where I'll embrace it. But most of the time, I know I'll resist, hoping to fold the edge of the page of what has become my favorite story yet. Jeez. 
I knew before I met you. That's a funny thing. But I still had so many questions about you and to ask you. The pain with which you came left me breathless. From then on, nothing has been the same. I see myself in you, and in the same time, I see all that you do through you. Discovering every color and note with you. Learning how to smile despite the weirdness. Developing the handy skill of doing everything half asleep. Staring helplessly at every house of parent guide available. Those first few months felt like a blink. So I kept my eyes open, hoping that I wouldn't miss a thing. These moments are rare, but I know that even for a little while, on days like today, when the wind is still and the sun lingers, I can take a mental picture and hold on to this memory, comforted that it will never change. Mommy Ann, may diaper worries ka ba ngayong extra likot na si baby? Wala! Sa new Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. Saan man tingnan? Sa itaas? Sa ibaba? And on both sides? Comfortable si baby? Shh! Nagwiwiwi. New Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. Absorbs wiwi faster, kaya expert sa dryness. Extra flexible din, kaya comfy gumalaw. Anong mang likot ni baby? Iyan ang complete comfort. Pag extra likot na si baby, try the expert sa comfort. New Huggies Dry Pants with X Channel. <laughs> Mula sa una mong iyak, hanggang sa una nating yakap, wala akong ibang iniisip, kundi ang alagaan ka. Ang Huggies Dry Newborn ay may Runny Poo Lake Guard at all-around cottony softness. Kasama mong mag-aalaga mula sa una hanggang sa susunod pang mga yakap. Huggies Dry Newborn. Also available, Huggies Pure Clean Wipes. Change was a distant word. There was a time that would only encounter it a few times in a decade. Today, I know that every day will bring change. There will be moments where I'll embrace it, but most of the time, I know I'll resist, hoping to fold the edge of the page of what has become my favorite story yet. I knew you before I met you. That's a funny thing, but I still had so many questions about you and to ask you. The pain with which you came left me breathless. From then on, nothing has been the same. I see myself in you, and in the same time, I see all that you do through you. Discovering every color and note with you. Learning how to smile despite the weirdness. Developing the handy skill of doing everything half asleep. Staring helplessly at every house of parent guide available. Those first few months felt like a blink. So I kept my eyes open hoping that I wouldn't miss a thing. These moments are rare, but I know that even for a little while, on days like today, when the wind is still and the sun lingers, I can take a mental picture and hold on to this memory, comforted that it will never change.
Mula sa una mong iyak hanggang sa una nating yakap, wala akong ibang iniisip kundi ang alagaan ka. Ang Huggies Dry Newborn ay may Runny Poo Leak Guard at all-around cottony softness kasama mong mag-aalaga mula sa una hanggang sa susunod pang mga yakap. Huggies Dry Newborn. Also available, Huggies Pure Clean Wipes. Change was a distant word. There was a time that would only encounter it a few times in a decade. Today, I know that every day will bring change. There will be moments where I'll embrace it, but most of the time, I know I'll resist, hoping to fold the edge of the page of what has become my favorite story yet. I knew you before I met you. That's a funny thing. But I still had so many questions about you and to ask you. The pain with which you came left me breathless. From then on, nothing has been the same. I see myself in you, and in the same time, I see all that you do through you. Discovering every color and note with you. Learning how to smile despite the weirdness. Developing the handy skill of doing everything half asleep. Staring helplessly at every house of parent guide available. Those first few months felt like a blink. So I kept my eyes open, hoping that I wouldn't miss a thing. These moments are rare, but I know that even for a little while, on days like today, when the wind is still and the sun lingers, I can take a mental picture and hold on to this memory, comforted. That it will never change. All right, good evening to everyone. How is everyone doing this evening? My name is Sarah Hernandez Ko, and you're watching Baby Hugs on Mommy Mundo. I forgot my last name for a moment there, but you know, I'm welcoming you all. Thank you for being with us. And tonight's event is all about you. Yes, you, Mama, to all the mamas who are joining us right now, welcome and thank you for being with us. Tonight, it, we're talking about postpartum self-care and how to love our bodies after we have given birth. I know it sounds like a lot, right? But um, for those who are uh, moms to multiples, who are moms to newborns, uh, we already know this. But for those who are still anticipating uh, giving birth to their babies, we want to let you know that what happens after giving birth? Well, you kind of tend to forget about yourself. The focus uh, moves completely to the babies and that's okay. Uh, they, they are such a joy. We're so glad we finally have them in our arms. But what happens is we forget about ourselves and we forget to um, take care of ourselves. So today we want to make sure that we don't forget that because it is so important for us to still be able to make sure that mama is good because if mama is happy then our babies are happy right to all the moms who are joining me right now you already know this and this is what we have uh to do we have to constantly remind ourselves that we have to put ourselves at the top of the list as well uh, so that we can better take care of our babies and before we begin because we do have a great show for you guys here today Let's first make sure that we thank Mommy Mundo. Thank you so much to Mommy Mundo. Mommy Mundo, for about almost two whole decades now, uh, has been the country's leading source of uh, when it comes to healthy pregnancies, breastfeeding, active parenting, mompreneurship, mom wellness, all of that good stuff. We get it from Mommy Mundo. And as a community, they have supported and inspired so many moms, moms to be mompreneurs as well, and dads by providing insightful 
meaningful articles, learning events like this one, and fun activities that help and enhance the parenting journey. So thank you, Mommy Mundo, for coming up with this, and thank you for having us today. We also want to thank our sponsor, Huggies Philippines. Thank you very much, Huggies. To the moms and dads out there, especially to the newborn or, or new parents who are joining us here today, we know that you've kept yourself busy, you know, reading about uh, parent how to parent tips online, your books. Uh, you've asked all your friends those forums as well. And we're so happy because Huggies actually offers exactly this through their online parenting community that we call the Huggies Club. So if you guys are curious, the Huggies Club aims to empower moms with relevant information about parenting and diapering. So Huggies Club is also a loyalty program for our Huggies community. Listen, so as a member, parents would enjoy exclusive discounts, we want that, on their Huggies favorites. So to the parents out there, what are you guys waiting for? Make sure that you check this out. Sign up now by visiting huggies.com.ph and make sure that you get those um, exclusive discounts in because we need that you have a family now you have to be smart all right so to all the moms and dads out there did you guys know that huggies has always kept in mind the wonderful comfort of mom's hug do you guys remember uh when you first held your newborn in your arms yung unang yakap natin with our newborn babies nothing else uh, can compare to that right but that's exactly the feeling that Huggies wants to make sure that they emulate in their diapers. That's such a great thing, right? So that's also the reason why they have especially designed or specially designed Huggies um, dry newborn huggies dry newborn for your little one's delicate skin so if you guys are wondering what that means well why is how is it specially designed well let me tell you what it's all about huggies dry newborn is clinically proven to help prevent diaper rash <gasps> thank you so much so that's always one of our biggest worries um making sure that our newborn babies they're so new in this world you don't want them to be uncomfortable in any way. So kung hindi yang si baby sa diapers, and of course, uh, we don't want them to have yung mga rashes or any irritation. We don't want any of that. So another feature that uh, Huggies Newborn Dry Diapers uh, has is that it's all around cottony softness that really mimics the gentle embrace of the new parent. So it's really the perfect partner for your newborn's delicate skin. So make sure that you check out Huggies Dry Newborn for your very special and very delicate babies. So please make sure to go ahead and check out Huggy Shopee and Lazada official stores today and every day so that you can get those Huggies dry newborn and small for your little ones. I'm going to add to cart later on as well. So before I introduce our speaker for tonight, we would also like to greet our viewers who are joining us via the Huggies PH Facebook page. Hello, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us via the Huggies PH Facebook page, the Mommy Mundo page. Thank you for being here. The the important thing is that you're joining us and you're going to learn with us as well. Now, the great thing is that we are actually going to be doing two giveaways for today. You guys know the drill, right? We always give you stuff as well. So the first way that you can win would be for you to visit uh, bit.ly or bit.ly slash babyhugs2021. That is the URL that you need to check out to view the full mechanics and you can get a chance to win one month's worth of Huggies diaper oh you know how important that is so a month's worth please go ahead and check that out the link is also pinned in the comment section right now so just scroll down and check it out click on it and check out the details and make sure that you join us and our second way to win so we don't just have one way we have another way that you guys can win right now as of this very moment our mommies in the audience will need to answer a question so those will be answering the question in the comment section will also get a chance to win a month or one month's worth of huggies diapers so please make sure that you answer this question and the question is 
what can you do to show your body how much you love it? So simple, right? So please answer that question. There you go. We have the, the question right here. Answer it in the most honest way, in the best way that you can via the comment section. And we will choose our winners and you'll find out who you are. Again, please share your heartfelt answer with us in the comment section. And you might be our winner of a, a month's supply of diapers. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm uh, praying that you guys are the winner. So uh, I'm so excited for you guys so excited because that's a really good that's really great help okay so uh thank you very much to our dear friends from huggies for uh this giveaway just to repeat to everyone two ways to win check out bit.ly slash baby hugs 2021 we have the information there and or answer the question what can you do to show your body how much you love it go ahead and join us and now we're quite ready to learn from a wonderful lady um our speaker for today who's given us time and she's also going to be sharing her wisdom with us ladies and gentlemen we are, today we are joined by a fellow at the philippine obstetrical and uh, gynecological society and also at the philippine society for gynecologic endoscopy she also handles gynecologic endoscopy and robotic surgery and obstetrics and gynecology at the St. Luke's Medical Center, Global City, and Quezon City. A very busy lady. She is here for us tonight to help us remember how and why we should take care of ourselves. Moms, now please join me in welcoming Dr. Camille Ann Abaya. A big virtual round of applause for her, please. The Hello. very beautiful. Hi, Dom. Good evening, Sarah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for that introduction. Thank you so much, Doc Camille. So, so Doc Milan, right, is your nickname, yeah, Doctor Milan. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she can any. Uh, Mills, <laughs> Dr. Milan, yeah. we're so happy to have you here today and we're so excited to learn from you. I'm sure a lot of the moms, in fact, I already got some messages uh, from some people that I uh, know or they know that they are mm -hmm. here to really learn from you because they're going through some things, you know, after giving birth, you know, we all know yeah. um, and we want to know how to deal with them. So thank you for being with us and we're excited to hear from you. Are you ready? Yes, okay. Let Take me it away. Um, okay. So we just want to say hi to everyone again uh, joining us. Thank you okay. so much. And uh, let's learn together today. Okay. Good evening again. I'm Dr. Camille Abaya. And I'd like to thank, first of all, Mommy Mundo and Huggies for inviting me to share a little bit of what I know for moms uh, who have just given birth. Okay, so I'd like to shed some light on the things that happen in our body after birth and, of course, so that we understand and we can love our bodies more. Okay, so this will be kind of like the flow of my, um, my lecture. Yes. Uh, so I will be talking about uh, the different changes in our body, um, the different parts actually that are affected. So here I have some outline as, long, as well as here. And if you notice... Um, they're mostly kind of unpleasant changes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to talk but about reality. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So That's really I'd what I'd like happens. to talk about, uh, like, you know, kind of explain what's going on. And so that you won't be so stressed when you feel this uh, or if you experience this, um, so that there's a deeper understanding of what's going on. And at the same time, yun nga, you can learn to love and accept that body. Thank uh, you, you understand what's happening. Okay, so the first, remember, I put here the vagina, no? Um, mm -hmm. So we'll have soreness or discharge. Why is that? Because most of us, if you deliver by a normal delivery, you're going to have a little scar there, right? Or you're going to have a little yes, wound, yes. okay, or incision. Um, even if you do totally natural birth, as um, a lot of women now are inclined to do, and they're... They, uh, for natural birth, there's no incision or there's no cut, okay? Um, um, so, uh, sorry, did you hear it's that? Right. <laughs> yeah. okay, that's so the... anyway, <laughs> that's the reality, right? Okay. Yes, uh, like that's the apple, one but... that gave yeah, you so... this cut also in the past, sometime yes, in the past. All, <laughs> all moms will understand me. So, okay, yes. anyway, going back. Going back, uh, so um, even if you're going through natural childbirth, wherein mm -hmm. there will be no um, episiotomy or cut, no, your your vagina or your privates will still feel a little sore. Yes, yes. Okay? So um, 
what do we do about it? What can we do about it? Don't panic, okay? Uh, the soreness and the pain, will, you know, it will just last a maximum of one week. Eh. Two to three days, you're fine now, okay? So what can we do? For the wound, we can have ice packs or a cold sits okay. bath. Okay, what's a cold sits bath, right? So yes, what's you can bath? have like a little palangana, okay? okay? Or maybe if you have a bathtub, put some ice, no? And then just sit in it for a while. Make sure lang the water is clean, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't need to boil the water. Well, of course, it would be nice no, if you did. But get mm -hmm. regular water, just sit there for a while. No, 15 minutes because I'm sure you can't come and last that long. And it will definitely relieve the pain a bit. It will also lessen the swelling in that area. Okay? Wow. So um, I wish I knew course, this. Yeah, you can do that talaga. Aside from pain relievers, of course, this is mm -hmm. the thing that doctors So that the but natural these are like thing that you can do. Remedies, mm -mm. Yes, mm -mm. All, mm -mm. Some stuff to help yourself. No? Um, and then, of course, you use a vaginal antiseptic, a wash mm -hmm. that your doctor has yes. given you. And then, if you're afraid, because you're afraid to clean that area, no, mm -hmm. you can yes. use like a squirt bottle. Okay? So, yan. I think I put it here in my slides. So, a squirt bottle so that parang you know, na for flush yung area na yon without you necessarily having to, you know, touch it because I'm sure you're right. afraid. No, so parang padaanan lang ng tubig. Yan, okay. Um, Can I just mention, yes. Doc Milan? Okay. Kasi, um, yes. I remember both times uh, while I was still at the hospital, they, they have bidets there, but you're afraid to use the bidet because you're, yeah. uh, no, you're not sure of the pressure. So that Correct. would be a better alternative for you to make it sure that you can be, yes. clean. Yes. Correct. Yeah. And at least, you know, <laughs> of course, a squirt bottle, you make sure that that's, you know, preferably you perhaps um, boil that water or you okay. have like, distilled water, no? Unlike if in a bidet, we're not really sure of the cleanliness, di ba? So sometimes yes, yes. there's some bacteria that's there. Oh, okay. okay, so alongside um, all this pain, there's also that soreness, no? So corollary to what I just mentioned in the last slide. So again, what can we do? You know those donut pillows? You can actually sit on that, di ba? You think uh -huh. the donut pillows are just for, di ba? Yes, <laughs> So yeah. you can sit on that or any round shape. Why? Because it releases the pressure in the center. And that's where the incision is, diba? That's where the yes. wound is, right? So if you sit that way and then parang there's no pressure on that area, then it will lessen the pain. Okay? Then how can you take the sting out of urinating? Sometimes, mm -hmm. okay, you can, number one, yeah, you can like squat. Parang don't sit so much because when you sit, it will really run through the incision or the wound, right? Okay. What you can also do is to run one warm water as you're peeing. Kasi the pee itself, di ba, ang hapdi niyan? Yes. So if you dilute it with warm <laughs> water, di ba? Yes, if you dilute yes, yes. it with warm water, medyo mawawala yung pain. Kasi diluted na siya, hindi na siya masyado magsisting. Okay? Mo, so these so are practical things that you can do. And, you know, these things, you know, uh, because this is our topic, this is part of loving yourself, right? Yes. So, pa yung sarili mo if you can do these things, right? So, Okay, so we move on to hemorrhoids naman, okay? So everything is just sore down there, okay? So what are hemorrhoids? There's stretched or swollen veins in the anus or the rectum. Kasi, diba, the weight of your baby was kind of pressing on all your veins in that yes. area. So namaga siya. Okay, that's a very Ay, pala way. Oo, namaga siya, tapos constipated ka pa. So yeah. you bear down, diba? So this is what happens, okay? So what can you do? Baliktad naman, you can soak, soak in a warm tub, okay? You can apply your rectal creams or suppositories, and then you can help by not being constipated. So how do you do that? Eat lots of food high in fiber, drink a lot of water, okay? Okay. So, okay, the hemorrhoids, so sometimes I see patients, they're very scared of it kasi parang mawawala ba to? Yes, in time, uh, it will lessen, the swelling can lessen, okay? Not immediately, but it will in time. If it persists, that's when you should see your doctor na. Okay? So don't worry, lahat ng to, lahat ng sinasabi ko, may katapusan naman. Okay? <laughs> I, can, I can attest to this. Yes. <laughs> Recently, lang, yes. Yun lang, if you're, especially if you're a new mom, the important yeah, thing lang yeah. is we acknowledge that this is normal, this can happen, and then just embrace it, right? Actually, like, this is really good, Doc, because you're sharing it with us. They know what to expect. Na kasi once you're yeah. expecting it, it's easier to deal with it. Kasi yung, yes. um, you know, it's just happening to you and you're lost. So uh, yeah. we're ho we hope everyone is really listening right now. And you're yeah. really explaining things that, you know, we usually wouldn't. Because everyone talks about the labor. 
and then these yeah. things we kind of forget about. So then please after, go on. Yeah, yeah the right the, after. So, you know, you peak for uh, sa labor, eh, diba? Yeah. The whole nine months, you're peaking, you're peaking, and then the labor, then you have your baby, and then no one talks about these things. Yeah. Right? But this is the reality of it. Okay. So next, after the hemorrhoids, is, of course, constipation. Right? So mm -hmm. uh, you have to drink a lot. So this will add to your hemorrhoids, right? If you're always bearing down, yes. if you're always pushing down, or as we say, making iri, diba? Um, it will worsen your hemorrhoids, okay? So again, the same, high in fi eat foods high in fiber, drink plenty of water, and then yun, physical activity, uh, of course, no? Because we're new moms anyway, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. you're just really going to be a lot of activity. You may take a stool softener or a laxative. You check with your doctor, now what would be okay if you're breastfeeding? And then, like, just some Kegels exercises. I don't know if um, moms are aware of this. It's just, like, kind of like exercising your muscles down there so that mm -hmm. it becomes tighter, no? So that it will become stronger to push down or push out that... Um, stock up, you know, thing in that area. Okay? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, so I we don't understand. Know kasi, no. diba? We're live, eh. Baka naman there's some things I cannot say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we absolutely understand anyway. So, okay lang yeah. uh, But right. also, I think a lot of us also, um, we tend to... I, I remember during my first, after my first, I was very scared to go to the bathroom. I think that's what yes. happens after your first baby. You really don't want to go to the bathroom. Yeah, because now you're, you're so scared the pain, of the stitches. Yeah. And then the most common is baka bumuka yung sugat, right? Yes, yun talaga yung yes. fear ko nun. Oh. Kaya, so these are the um, things you need to know. Yes. Saka normally naman yung chance na bubuka is very, very little. <laughs> no? Um, of course, it can happen. Pero hindi yan yung normal na parang 50% of women will have bumukang sugat. No? But constipation really adds to that. Uh, possibility, no. So if your if your stool is talagang matiga, syempre, you're gonna bear down more, and that mm -hmm. that uh, those sutures may rip. Although it's very strong, naman hindi yan. It's not something that you should really worry first and foremost. Okay. And these are the things that can help you, talaga. Of course, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's move on to the tummy. So yes. alam natin happens to the tummy, right? So, mm -hmm. when we were single and younger, it was so tight. <laughs> Talagang, you know, uh, may abs pa yan, eh, di ba? Na yun, loose Ganda, and eh. soft, di ba? Ang lambot, yung parang na-stretch mm -hmm. yung balat, and then all the stretch marks start to come in, no? So, stretch marks, um, you know, di ba? They say it's your battle scar. It will not yes. really totally go away. Um, it will be there, pero it will lighten in time, Okay. So initially the color is dark red and then becomes silvery white. So I'll show you in the next slide, no? So here yes. we have a picture of new stretch marks. So they're usually red. Alam natin yan, di ba? When we're pregnant, ganyan most women, okay? Yes. Um, okay. And then in time, after the years go on, no, it will become parang white marks na lang. Not so obvious anymore. Okay. So um, this one, talaga again, it's like really just accepting it and loving your body and embracing it, di ba? Uh, we can't do anything about it. We, uh, well, meron, you can actually go to like a, a derma, yeah. you can have it laser. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Eventually, yes. Yeah. So, uh, what I tell my patients is, um, when you're finished now with your child, yes, yes. if you plan pa kasi kunyari another kid or two more pointless, kids, kung mo na pa laser, pointless, di ba? Pa laser nyo pag yung tapos na kayo ng childbearing plans ninyo. Okay, so this is what it looks like, okay? The looseness of the skin, yes, it will be there, but you can actually work out, you no, know, you can do some abs, and it will, it, there's a, it, it's possible to, to kind of get a little bit of tightness after pa rin naman, okay? So, all right, hair loss. Ito. Uh, ito, di ba? Everyone, yes. parang ang daming nagtatanong nito, okay? Yes. So, it's, uh, generally, it's a decrease in the hormone, estrogen, no? Um, so there's more hair fall, and it doesn't happen kaagad. It's like in the third or fourth month. So, you know, this is a cause of anxiety to some women. Eh, kasi kala nila okay na sila, nakalimutan mm. na nila yung pain of labor. Yung, yeah. You know, after three or four months, parang okay na ako, tapos na ako dun sa panganganak. You know, you're focusing on your growing little newborn, ganyan. And then your hair starts to fall off at three to four months, right? And then it resolves pa six to 12 months. So imagine one year naglalagas yung buhok mo, right? So, yun, normal. 
Okay? Huwag matakot. Okay? Kasi eh, parang uh, makalbo ko. Sige, go ahead, Sarah. No, kasi, Doc, I'm anticipating this now, but I remember kasi during the first time, um, I did, I was told, I was warned about this, but you don't really realize how bad it is until it's happening to you and how it can really affect you. Uh, so, talagang nakaka, once you're showering and you see yung all the hair that comes out, it does something to your self-esteem. I, Sorry, I'm getting emotional. But because I remember lang, um, meron pala talaga siyang power over you. So uh, to all the moms out there, yeah, it's very important to be aware that this will happen and remind yourselves that it uh, it does resolve. It does get better eventually. Yes. You'll just hindi have kayo, to find other ways. Hindi kayo makakalbo. Like, you uh, know, there may be a period that... Um, it's super you know, fine. It's super fine. Super. And you think it's gonna be this way forever. But no it will grow back, no? But yun nga, matagal, it's 12 months. So if you're not aware that this will happen, you'll think, oh my God, this is like forever. Yeah. I've, I've yes. given birth a year ago and it's still here, di ba? So this is really the importance of knowing what happens to your body after para you don't panic rin, okay? So what can you do? All right. Yes. Right. Massage stimulates blood flow, okay? So ito, mga ano lang to, mga... It, there will still be hair fall, okay? Because that's an effect of hormones. Pero this will kind of help lessen it or alleviate. Na baka, like, kunyari, if you use a mild soap, obviously mm -hmm. there's going to be less hair fall versus okay. if you use a very okay. harsh drying shampoo, let's say, right? So okay. it will still be there. These are not parang uh, foolproof, ano na, okay, hindi maglalagas ang yes, yes. mo. Okay, but okay, so scalp massage stimulates blood flow. Okay, para mas healthy yung growth ng hair, use a mild shampoo. Shampoo only when necessary yan. But you know, it's ah, very difficult in the tropical. Yes. yes. Di ba? Kasi ang the ingat, humidity. And correct. And if you're naturally yung parang very oily, yung balat, it really depends, you know. Uh, some women can get away with not shampooing maybe every other day lang. But some talagang after 24 hours. Oh, I have to, yeah. Oily. Yeah. But we do get, di ba, merong ibang friends tayo. My, na parang yeah, that they can. Tayo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's really up to you. But, um, Yun, yeah, you try to shampoo uh, as, as, le as less frequently as you can, if possible, and then find the hair cell that's easy to maintain. So, syempre, long hair, so medyo mahirap yan, di ba? Kasi ganun ka nang ganun, di ba? So, lalong makukulog. So, maybe, you know. So or yung baby mo, hinihila yung hair mo habang uh, nag-breast. Yun din, di ba? But then, you know, long hair also has its um, parang yes. pros. Yes. Kasi pwede mo lang siyang matali. Yeah, diba? that's parang true. Parang ganun, pag nagmamadali ka. But, you know, and short hair maybe is good, yeah? And if you want, if you're looking for yun nga, kasi sometimes when you lose your hair, uh, sometimes getting all dolled up will help your self-esteem. So that helps as well. True. So pwede, yes. yun din yung perks nun. Lately, nag-extension ako pagka feeling down ako. Ah, talaga? Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Oh, that's another okay. thing. Sige, the, Doc Milan. Oh, 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 pwede yun, extension. Uh -oh. Kasi para lang, ano, get dolled up lang para mabalik lang yung confidence mo. I have a question, yes. Doc. Uh, yes. Does water, the temperature of water, does it, ano, does it affect it also? Um... Parang I've never heard naman okay. anything like that, no? Parang siguro, siguro not so hot, right? Okay. But cold water, I don't think it will. Uh, tempted, okay. um, lukewarm, it should be okay. All so, right. Okay, so yeah. So, okay, avoid Shampoo. hair drives, curling mm -hmm. irons, harsh chemicals. You know, obvious naman yan, eh, diba? But um, the postpartum period is also a period when you can, like, color your hair again, right? Um uh, really? I guess that, yeah, you can. Pwede na pala. Um, <laughs> oo, kung gusto mong mag-hena, mas, mas organic, di ba? Okay. Mas okay. Pero if you use the regular, yung may peroxide, okay lang, even if you're breastfeeding. Kasi uh, yung, yung uptake naman ng dye, sobrang konti sa ulo lang. By the time it flows into your bloodstream, at lalabas siya, di ba ang iniisip natin, baka lumabas sa breast. Yes. Kung baga na-process na siya or na-metabolize na siya mostly ng liver natin. No? So parang eh, it's not that harmful anymore. Kasi very konti lang, mild lang naman yung pumasok sa scalp. Okay? Hindi mo naman in-inject sa blood mo yung dye eh. Okay, take note moms. You oh, can diba? actually color your hair. Yeah, Yay, yeah, thank you for that. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, maybe different OBs will say different things. But yes, yes. Theoretically, you know, I think you can. And I and I advise my patients. And I myself did that um, after my pregnancy. Kasi you need to feel 
better. Again, yes. Yeah, I mean, and nine months kasi you stayed away from it. Yes. So yeah. it would be a welcome change also. Correct. Diba? You have mm-hmm. all these changes na nga that I mentioned. Yes. You know, don't feel good about your body. Parang ang tamo, yeah. Your skin is so loose and all that. And then, pati ba naman yung hair, hair pati yung mga uh-huh. amo, diba? Parang gusto mo naman to feel a little better. Yes. Okay? We like so, that. Yes. Thanks, free natal vitamins, zinc, and vitamin C yan. Mga nakakatulong yan. Okay. Weight loss. Okay. Okay. So, syempre, diba? Serious na tayo. Serious, serious talk na Serious na kasi weight loss. So, <laughs> you know, um, I think before I start on this, we have to really parang accept or mm-hmm. understand that different women really yes. have different, you know, um, rates of weight loss. Right? So, di ba, yung mga artista, di ba? Yung mga mm-hmm. model, parang grabe, parang hindi nanganak, di ba? Because after a few, ano, flat na ulit yung chan. And let's let's not have that expectation if we know our body is not like Agreed. that, right? So, you, you'll know naman eh, diba, if you were medyo tabain talaga before or if you if you know you abused and ate a lot talaga masyado in pregnancy, right? So, yes. of course, the weight loss will come slower for you, mm-hmm. okay? If you're an older mom, again, the weight loss will be slower simply because your metabolism is slower, as slower age, yeah. right? If your lifestyle is not so active, so, you know, women who've been exercising even in pregnancy or talagang active yung lifestyle nila, natural, mas mabilis silang maglulus ng weight. So, before I even start on this, yun nga, let's keep our expectations yung at par with our body type. Okay? So, wag tayo, tayo nadadali na, Doc. Yes. Doon tayo nadadali sa expectations, eh. So, yes, kasi really? diba, oh, katulad mm-hmm. ng endorser natin na sang hagi, si Ann yeah. Curtis Smith, diba? Parang ako kaya, agad. Huwag na na, diba? Hindi lahat tayo blessed na gano'n. We're not the so, same. Na, yes. Correct. And, and Doc, diba sabi nila, with every pregnancy, it's different also. So, yung effects rin on you, uh, paiba-iba yes. din yan. So, you it, don't it know. It really depends on how healthy you were in pregnancy, what were you eating, right? If you were very conscious in eating healthy in pregnancy, that's easier to lose the weight, right? But kung naka-coke ka, naka iced tea, naka kung ano-ano during pregnancy, which is, advisable, <laughs> course, right? which is not advisable, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. So, syempre, diba, iba yung, iba yung weight that you gain sa ganun uh-huh. Okay? So, alright, after delivery, immediately after delivery, women lose at least 10 pounds, okay? That's from the weight of the baby, the placenta, and the mm-hmm. amniotic fluid, okay? And then, of course, yung uterus mo kasi magsishrink na yan. Yes. Eh. So, medyo mawawala ng weight. So, at least 10 pounds. And after a, a, one week, further yan, magdi-decrease. Kasi the leftover fluids, yung katawan mo, uh-huh. uh, medyo you pee it out na, maaabsorb na ulit ng body, ganyan-ganyan. So, may weight loss pa. Then, six weeks to six months, women usually go back to pre-pregnant weight. But you know, I was if I to post this, yes. Because I don't want uh, women, our watchers now, to um, have this expectation na six months, na ako, hindi pa rin ako matabata-baka yes. pa. Kasi nga, iba-iba talaga tayo. Okay? So let's just, you know, do do things lang. Like, yun nga. Uh, okay, so like, yun, you can exercise na, you ask lang your OB, kailan pwede, mm-hmm. eat healthier, kanya, no? so to help us lose that weight. Okay? So, the next would be swelling of the feet or edema. I wonder, Sarah, did you have this? After? I, I was actually quite fortunate never ako nag problem never. with uh-huh. the, yeah, so that's good. pregnancy. So, sometimes, this is again a cause of panic to some women, mm-hmm. kasi di ba usually ang, ang understanding natin, you have edema or swelling during the pregnancy. Yes. But tapos na, wala na. So parang bakit? Bakit siya meron? Okay, it's because well up, you know? your, your body made a lot of blood during your pregnancy. More blood. Okay? Kunyari kung 5 liters lang, medyo nag 6 to 6.5 liters ang ginawa. So now, na lumabas na si baby, ah, saan na Mara- makikunta yung Ah, uh, continuous pa rin. Mm-hmm. It's still there. It's not right, making right. there anymore, but it's still ah, there. Okay. So, Oh. It will kind of like stay in the foot for a while, no? Magkakaibig uh, na After a few, yun pala yun. siguro days to a week or so, mawawala naman yan. I usually say mga one to two weeks, okay? So what can you do? Elevate the feet, okay? Avoid salty foods. Why avoid salty foods? Kasi, di ba the salt, hinahatak niya yung water? Mm-hmm. Okay, so lalo siya magsiswell. Uh-huh. Early ambulation, walking around, you can wear supportive stockings or shoes, okay? Um, okay, but just a little note, no? 
okay lang tong edema or swelling of the feet if your blood pressure is normal. Okay? Uh -huh. If your blood pressure is elevated, this is something you have to consult with your OB na. So, iba yun. Okay? okay? So, we're just talking about the edema. Very the normal important. Normal blood pressure. Oo, ha? Okay. So, okay. Again, yun nga. Don't panic kasi parang sabihin, oh, you know, my, my shoes don't fit me na. Yung mga magaganda kong mga shoes, di ba? Parang sayang. Babalik naman yun. Okay? So, <laughs> Pero for okay some, uh, mm, yes. Doc Go Milan, ahead. for yes. some talaga the, the shoe size, they change, no? For some it people. will talaga, yes. Uh -huh. For some, talagang, yun nga eh, um, you really have to embrace all these changes, eh, diba? So parang, may iba talaga mga half uh, size, maybe. Yes, yes, that's so, what talagang I Talagang mean. lumaki ng bonggam bonga mga one size bigger, right? Mm -mm. Than the normal. Yeah, pero generally, pwede it naman. Should. Also, it should. Also, if you kept your weight uh, just right during pregnancy. Mm, okay. Uh -oh. Okay? So, okay, <gasps> here. Okay. Ito, we can discuss this in depth if you want, no? Um, kasi ito, uh, hindi masyadong pinag-uusapan eh. Yes. Yeah? Parang, um, we just expect moms to be like, you know, on the go, basta, mag-alaga ka lang. And then, you know, if you feel like you don't want to take care of your child, kasi nga, nag like, mood changes ka, you're parang you're rejecting your child, parang meron din yung ano eh, di ba? Parang, uh, it's also considered parang anong mga klaseng mom yan, parang okay. ayaw talaga ng ano. So, you know, these things, okay, I will explain. Just so for our moms out there, if you're feeling these, it's normal, okay? And then you let somebody know. You ask for help, okay? So, mood changes. So, the very common is postpartum blues or baby blues na tinatawag, okay? So, it's like what I mentioned earlier, di ba? Kasi yung peak talaga ng excitement, the nine months building up to the delivery eh, to the yes. to the birth of the baby. After that, parang wala na. So it's like the emotional letdown after the excitement. Parang there's nothing to look forward to. Nandiyan na eh. Parang Correct. okay, yay, cutesy baby, ganyan. Yes, okay. Uwi na and then the hard work starts, right? So it's that. Yung all that excitement and then biglang boom. Okay? Yeah. Discomfort after delivery. Of course, we've mentioned that, di ba? The pain in all these parts of your body. Uh, fatigue from sleep yes. deprivation. Ayan, di ba? Okay. <laughs> Maybe for new moms, no? Or first-time moms, we can say, again, matatapos din yan. Okay? It really seems like forever when you're going it through does. it. Right? And it really, this is something that, yun nga, I speak from experience at, as well, di ba? Kasi, and people always say, kunyari, pag nakita ka nila after six months, ang laki na ng baby mo. Parang ang bilis. Pero parang gusto mo sabihin, hindi mabilis yung six months. <laughs> hirap na hirap ako. Di ba? So, yun. It's really fatigue from sleep deprivation. Anxiety over infant care. And here, siguro, I'd like to kind of talk about this a little more, di ba? Because parang we have this perfect notion, basa tayo ng basa, ng how to raise our kids, all these yes. kinds of methods, right? Yung mga kung ano-ano, how to put them to sleep, how to ganyan, yes. breastfeeding on demand, all these theories and all Lots these of the information. things available. So it gives us anxiety when we can't do it. Kasi sinasabi, feed on demand, di ba? Parang mean ka pag ginawa mong every four hours lang yung feeding ng bata. Pero ang sakit na ng nipple mo, hindi mo nakaya or what, di ba? So parang hindi mo mamigay and that causes you depression and anxiety mm -hmm. because you feel like you're not being a good mom. But yeah. on whose rules? Di ba? Correct. So this is what I'd like to explain. I think um, it's like um, corollary also to what um, Huggies promotes, yung um, parent faming instead yeah. of shaming. No? Yes. So parang, you know, don't be shamed just because you can't breastfeed for like, you know, maybe one feeding of the child because talagang nahirapan ka. Or, you know, even if you can't breastfeed totally for that matter because of certain certain issues that you cannot naman control, let's not be too anxious about it. There's no one way to really raise your child. Yes. As long as it's coming out of love, I think... You do your best, yes. Yes. And, and the intent is always love. The intent is always caring. So I think... Um, this is a very important thing, no? Anxiety over infant care is what we really have to recognize. Don't go hard on yourselves, okay? If I may and, add lang din, yes. Doc, go um, ahead. with this one. Uh, like you mentioned, diba, you basically you're just going to try your best. So uh, this also includes making sure that you have all the proper materials, all the proper um, 
but uh, things that can help you. You prepare yeah. for all of that, and then you just uh, accept whatever will happen after that. So this includes you having the right um, supplies when it comes to your breastfeeding and all that. And it's the same when it comes to diapering because you mentioned that, right? So if you have the right uh, diaper for you, the right uh, brand for you also, malaking bagay yeah. na yun because that kind of takes away that stress. Um, but making sure that you already have taken care of uh, what you think will be best for your child um, Okay, na yun, because from then on, you can just work on what's going to come next, and uh, yourself, you'll just see. Right? Yes, this, yes. and how your baby will react to it. So in yeah. in my case, it's always choosing what's best for my baby. So even when it comes to diapers, so Huggies Dry Newborn uh, is also going to be a good choice for you guys for that one. So yeah. anxiety. So to just to minimize your anxiousness or your anxiety also uh, and, when it comes to and Sarah also from sleep deprivation, right? Yes, you choose the proper yes, things to use for your baby, right? <laughs> yes. Hindi masyadong gigising kung basa na, di ba? Correct. Pwede pang medyo matulog tayo ng a little more till the next feeding. And uh, right. doc, add ko lang din na kasi because I'm going through it now, once you get your routine, once you found the the materials or things that work for you and you figure out your routine, it will work naman for that phase and you'll be good for that phase so uh once you find the right uh breastfeeding tools the diaper tools um pagka meron na kayo nung medyo understanding yun ng baby nyo na at this time i'll change you and at this time ganyan um medyo may some sense of normalcy naman uh that will come to your life so that's something to look forward to lang yes din. magkakaroon naman kayo ng routine talaga so yes, just don't yes. worry na parang yan kunyari um i was thinking if you saying you're saying di ba na parang may routine na kayo ni baby mo. Medyo. Mm-mm. Maka some of our moms now will think, naku, patay, wala pa kami, ganyan, ganyan. Ay, hindi, hindi, oo. Diba? So, yun nga, let's just stress that. Diba? Yours came at this time. Yes. Come to, iba-iba tayo, okay? Alright, so, body image concerns, we know that na because of the previous uh, topics we talked about. Okay. So, how do we differentiate lang? Um, Ooh, okay. I'll, I'll make it quick lang, no? yung baby blues versus postpartum depression. So, basically, yung baby blues, mabilis lang yan, three or four days after delivery, tapos matatapos yan in a few weeks' time. Yung postpartum depression, medyo, it's longer. So, okay. even after a year, parang you're feeling mm-hmm. some mood uh, down, no? Okay, Prevalence, 70, very common ang baby blues. 70 to 80% of women will have this. Yung postpartum depression, medyo mas, um, mas rare. Okay, you'll have to have some uh, siguro risk factors, no? na baka you have really some underlying um, issues na or anxiety even before pregnancy, kaya naging postpartum depression siya. Okay, so emotional symptoms, mostly the same lang yan, except it's a little more... Um, Increased or severe, maybe, okay. with postpartum depression, no? Um, yung sa baby blues, parang, you know, just a little weeping na hindi mo maintindihan. <laughs> irritability, galit sa mundo, di ba? Galit sa ataw, galit sa lahat. And also, you know, ito sinasari ko, kasi di ba tayo, we stay at home. After yes. the delivery, we stay at home. Sometimes, na-irritate tayo kasi syempre, the husbands, they go out. Maybe yes. they work, right? Pagbalik yung parang, well, pre-pandemic, di ba? Yung yeah. medyo nag-happy hour, ganyan. So, parang may irritation ka eh, Na parang, ba't ikaw, normal na yung buhay mo? Ako, I'm stuck here, ganyan. So, again, this is something I point out to my patients, no? There, it, that's normal talaga. So, maybe you talk about um. it with your partner and all that, right? Kasi, siya, normal eh, hindi mo siya napupu, or maybe napupuyat siya, pero parang nakakalabas siya, <laughs> he interacts with people, Right? Uh, pre-pandemic, of course, no? Yung um, pandemic yeah. version yan, Doc, is when they have, uh, in my case, naglalaro ng games. Tapos... Ayan. Oo, <laughs> ayan. Uh. Oo, di ba? Yung parang ikaw lang ang kahinga eh. Tapos, di ba? Di ba? So, it is. It's a cause na you'll be irritable. Ganyan. Tapos, yes. Yeah, mas madadagdagan. That's why, the important thing also with baby blues, I don't know if we have daddies who are listening in, it's really important the support of the family or yung, yung immediate yet people around um, the newborn mom. Okay, so we are lucky in the Philippines, we have extended family. We have yes. our, lo- our moms, our, da- uh, our dads, no? our lolo, lola, ganyan, may mga helpers din tayo. No? Um, so it's a little bit harder actually abroad when it's really just the couple. Correct. Okay, all right. 
Um, so physical symptoms, yun. again, uh, generally all these physical and behavioral symptoms, parang, it's really parang, just think of it, mas severe lang talaga sa postpartum depression. So like, for example, mm, so physical symptoms, sa baby blues, um, you just feel tired, you can't sleep. <clears throat> Pero in postpartum depression, parang you actually have like, hindi makahinga, di ba, mm. chest pain. Head. So uh, parang physical... it translates na to an actual parang may nararamdaman ka. Okay? Uh, so, like, if you're sluggish, a headache, so parang, if you're like, you know, my head hurts or I can't breathe, parang I'm palpitating. Yeah, uh-huh. but w- when they check you, there's really nothing wrong with no, your heart okay, or your yeah. lungs, right? So parang the physical symptoms it's kind ma- of tend to manifestation. Be, manifest, um, oh. you know, as as something more severe, whereas right, maybe right. it's just like, inaantok ka or you're tired or ganyan. Okay, behavioral symptoms, okay, poor concentration in patients, normal lang yan. <laughs> Pag postpartum, um, ito na yung parang ayaw. Ayaw na mag-care ah. for the self. Wala na yung self-care. Ayaw maligo. Ayaw na mag... This is severe, no? Ayaw maligo. Ayaw mag-shampoo. Ay, yung wala na. I don't care about myself. Kahit hindi, hindi na siya nag-toothbrush ng ilang araw. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this is this is severe. Of course, not all women naman, no? But... You know, the it goal is happen. really to, yes, it does happen. And the goal is really to catch it before na maging ganito. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, okay, risk factors lang. I'll just run through it uh, para hindi yes, masyadong no. technical. Yun. So, family history of mental illness, na bang na, di ba, and substance abuse. If you have marital or financial stresses, of course, that adds to the anxiety, yes, right? Yes, yes. Pagod ka na and all that. Walang pambili ng gatas or whatever. Walang pambili ng huggies, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yan. Sali na lang sa right? contest. Yeah, and then if your relationship is um yes. not so good, of course, no? Yes. Difficult labor and delivery. Ito, no? Kasi um, this is very common, especially, and I'd like to add here, yung mga moms na type A personality, dami natin ganyan ngayon, di ba? Tapos, hindi nakakatulong pa yung lahat ng Google. You know, we keep reading. We're so yes. self-aware. So, even before we deliver, we have this notion na eh, na magna-natural childbirth ako, mm-hmm. mag-water birth ako, <laughs> wala akong yes. anesthesia, magbe-breastfeed ako talaga, pure, ganyan, eh lahat hindi nangyari. Right. Diba? Humingi ka ng epidural, in the end, na CS ka, yes. tapos wala kang gatas. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yung mga ganyan, okay, or initially, walang gatas, right? So, um, all this, no, it's part of difficult labor and delivery and the expectations, and especially if you're most of us or most women, they're career women. We get to right. decide on things in our career. We make it happen. And then all of a sudden, this is something so important to us and we have no control. Diba? Ginusto nating mag-normal, hindi Correct. tayo na normal and all that. So this really is a major cause I see in my patients. So parang depression or le- medyo nalulungkot. Diba? Kasi parang... Yun May na, disappointment na. kasi na yes, yes, malabas. Yes, yes. Kasi Correct, no? So this, I cannot stress more. So, you know, it's nice to have some goals during your Correct. pregnancy. Um, this is what you want to happen. That's fine. But you always leave a little space for it's possible that it won't happen because you cannot control everything. Correct. So I think that's how to kind of take care of your mental health or, you know, lay, uh, as you go along through the pregnancy. Okay naman na may goals kayo, may plans. But if it doesn't happen, cool rin, right? Yeah. The, it's still okay, right? So, Doc, magandang prep rin yun for parenting, no? <laughs> yeah, oo. So, I ko kung may nakikinig ng mga pregnant, di ba? Kasi ano talaga, nowadays, talagang, you know, there's so much knowledge out there. Na yes. Mo when you go in Sometimes your, too much. Mm-mm. Yeah, na parang feeling mo, alam na, alam mo na, this yeah. is what I want to happen. Yes. Yun yun, di ba? And then especially... Again, we're seeing a trend na parang maybe um, moms now get to be moms at a later stage. Na nang nakapag-career right. na sila, may mm-hmm. career na sila. So, they're very in charge of themselves, no? As opposed to before na wala, kasal agad, di ba? Parang mm-hmm. wala namang ano. Ngayon, they're in charge of themselves, they make decisions. So, this is also something I want to happen during my pregnancy. Ganyan. Iyon nga, hindi na ngayon. Okay, so problems with baby's health is also ano yun nga. So you want a room in, yung yung imagination mo is yung room in ako, magbe-breastfeed ako, eh may nakitang problem kay baby. O, Correct. May konting pneumonia, may konting sepsis or whatever, right? Na uh, So kailangan na sa nursery. So that also ha- uh, adds to the depression or to the sadness, right? Um, may your life changes around the time of delivery. Um, 
maybe ako ang na-experience ko dito with my patients, parang they're also choosing to move houses. Okay? Kasi yes. parang maliit na yung condo nila yeah. for like two kids or whatever. So, sinatabay nila yun. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, parang, and also now, this curveball, yung pandemic. No? So, this is yes. really, really challenging for that does all add. of us. Uh, uh, it does add. Okay? Lack of support or help with the baby. Yeah. So, maybe mga you know, unsupportive na partners or if you're a single mom, right? If you're really mm-hmm. alone. Mm-hmm. And then, yun, being a mother at a young age. Okay. And the causes are really drops in all these hormones and amount of adjustment that comes after the birth of the baby talaga. Kasi it, it's like, di ba, as you know, your life talaga, turn around, di ba? Um, ibang iba talaga. It's good to know, Doc, though, that you mentioned that there, a lot of it has to do with hormones and uh, it just, yes. it will really happen. Yes, yes. That's really the the goal talaga of this lecture and, you know, um, you know, we hope to really relate to as many people. Na parang it's normal. It's not you. Yes, it's, not it's you. your body. It's, it's your body, right? Mm-hmm. It's ano. So okay. So what to do? Again, self awareness. Na it's normal and common to mm-hmm. feel this way, right? Guys, so it's normal. Yun. So self. Alam mo. Okay. So if you feel, if you recognize that it's happening to you, seek help again. Yan, next ko. Talk about it with family and friends, right? So, alam mo, huwag mo itago, share mo, okay? okay? Rest and sleep. So, uh, yun nga, give your, ano, um, give your partner or the people in your house, like, a chance to take care of your baby then. Huwag niyang solohin, right? Sometimes, gusto natin, ako lang, ako lang, kasi, ba, first baby ko to and all. So, yes. you know, if you don't change the diaper, for like a few hours at ang, 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 you know, it's the yaya who did it or it's your, it's your husband Partner. who did it. It doesn't mm-hmm. make you a lesser mom. Believe me, hindi maaalala ng anak mo yun. <laughs> diba? <laughs> mom, hindi mo pinalitan yung diaper ko nung 3 a.m. <laughs> okay. Pero dang, I just have to mention, ha, no, parang, it it does happen to you like again it's happening to me again right now yeah. na you do want sometimes may mga ganun lang din atang tao or it maybe it, it's part of it that you want to be doing everything yes. but it's a good reminder to know that you don't have to do everything yes, you don't and they won't to. know <laughs> yes because that's part of loving your body mm-hmm. postpartum right you know you can do it again it stems from the fact that maybe you were a very you are a very driven person you have a career so kaya mo lahat so you think kaya mo rin this 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 whole thing of you know taking care of your baby but Yes, kaya mo, but if it's going to cause you some sleep deprivation and, and, and fatigue, just delegate. Right. Delegate. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. so then exercise when you can na. Okay, because as you know, diba, exercise releases endorphins and all that. So yes. you, uh, be a little more, you know, happy. Okay, eat healthy, of course. Take a break. Ayan, I mentioned already, take a break from caring uh, of the newborn to enjoy other activities. So here, um, what's my usual advice to my patients? Um, when, when you're, parang what you do, you feed, di ba? Di ba usually every four hours yung feeding? Pagka yung medyo nag three months na. Pagka, yes. Pagka feed na pagka feed mo, takbo ka sa parlor, as sa salon. <laughs> Paano ka? Di ba? Tapos, tama balik ka. Four hours ulit. Then you can, ano. So you find these little um, pockets of Treats. time. Mm-mm. Yeah, where you can do things for yourself. Yun. Pre-pandemic, I would tell them, yun have like a coffee or merienda with a friend. After you have fed the baby, delegate to yun ya, either your nanny or your partner or your mom. Go out. You don't have to be there. Your baby is asleep. Kung magpupo siya, kayang palitan ng ibang tao. Then, balik ka lang when you're going to feed na. So, you know, sabi ko, believe me, this two to three hours that you're gone, just making paganda in the salon or talking to a friend over coffee or whatever, um, will really boost your your ano your your mood no tapos trinay nila oo nga naman daw okay mm-hmm. so if it's too much na of course you seek professional help counseling mm-hmm. and support and maybe um rare cases no if for postpartum depression talaga you need some medication then yun for husbands and families i think i mentioned already talagang support yun kasi diba sometimes the partners are like 
Ang arte niya eh. Arte lang naman eh. Parang wala namang nararamdaman. Pero that, that happens, yes. Uh, and it's very painful for us kasi parang... To hear, no, yes. This is real for us. So, or sometimes the husbands don't want to talk about it. Yung parang, mm-hmm. di ba? Um, parang ano lang, um, brush it. Brush it off. Yeah, they brush it off. Uh, mm-hmm. Then that they happens. just do other things and all that. So, yun. That's another thing. Um, I, I tell my hus- the husbands of my patients, please support. You ask them anong kailangan, tumulong kayo. Okay? And then, okay, so we go, okay na yung mood. Sarah, do you have any other concerns with mood? Kasi alam ko that's a very uh, broad and interesting topic for some women. I think we can get uh, into it more later sa Q&A, Doc. Okay. But yes, um, uh, everything that you mentioned, uh, the most important thing I think there is talagang you recognize, try to recognize it as early as possible and ask for help. Kasi sometimes yes. as, lalo na for first-time moms, um, for newborn moms talaga, you tend to be afraid to ask for anyone else to do the things that you think you can do yourself uh, and yeah. you don't want to show that you're you can't do it eh? so it's important to know na sometimes you can't do it and you do need help so yeah. you that's the best for women correct i mean you know you can that's more than yes. enough but you, yeah correct you're right okay so breast changes yeah and so again breast heaviness it feels engorged you know when you're breastfeeding there's yes. pain, it's blistering okay and then oh, yeah. you may develop some low grade fever or stuck up your milk so you yes. develop this thing called mastitis yes. or redness okay so alam na alam natin yan i think i, I watched <laughs> like a like a, some vlogger before and apat na that, you know no one really talks about this everybody yeah. talks about how beautiful breastfeeding is how natural it is how the you all the nice walang nagsasabi na for the first 2 weeks masakit yan magpapalto yes <laughs> <laughs> no one talks I, I, about that I, I recently was speaking with someone who just gave birth. Nga. Sabi ko, oh, you have to know it's really going to hurt the first two weeks. Yes. Kasi nga, uh, you have to prepare them. Kasi ako rin, na, na-realize ko lang din uh, recently na I forgot how much how much it hurts you the first yes. two to three weeks. But it does get Correct. better. Yeah. Um, kasi the reason for that blistering and for that pain is kasi di ba, our skin in the nipple area is very... Uh, thin, and very mm-hmm. soft, no? So if you have like a constant like gum sucking on that every day, <laughs> um, parang ano siya? Uh, Break in. Na a braid, yeah. Parang yeah. nagagasga siya. So of course, um, yun. And then later on, it's not painful anymore because the skin has adapted, adapted mm-hmm. and it has thickened. No? So that's why, okay na siya. Hindi na siya masakit. Hindi na siya as thin and sensitive as it was before. So that's that's the reason. Okay. So what do you do? You nurse your baby every two to three hours. Later on, every four hours, nga, as I mentioned, or you can use a breast pump. Okay. You can massage breasts in a circular motion. This is readily available actually online. These are the mm-hmm. ways to massage or to express the milk. When parang kung may feeling kayo na parang may namumuo, okay, in mm-hmm. certain areas, that's stuck up milk. So what you do lang is you know. Warm compress, Mas- circular motion, and then express. You see my number two diagram towards mm-hmm. the nipple area. Kasi dyan yung, that's the direction that's of the ducts. Yes. Um, if I may move to my previous slide, you see, here are the ducts. These are where the milk is produced. No, I Can you see my cursor? Yes. So, yeah. Okay, so here are the milk glands, and that's where it's produced. And then the ducts are like the little alleyways or streets that go to the nipple para dyan lalaba. So, of course, the direction of expressing your milk is you squeeze from here pababa. Yan. Okay? I to, to the moms who are watching, this is actually something that can come in really, uh, come in handy talaga. Kasi I also took a class before giving birth and I remembered this. When you are gi- uh, breastfeeding na, it's good to know kasi where you're supposed to start. Akala, I think common knowledge, parang if you don't know, then you're just going to expect that it's just near the, the, yes. the nipple gonna, itself. Like, squeeze on the nipple area. Yes, huh? yeah. Without knowing. So like this Pero um, let's remember. anatomical guide is really very important. Para alam nyo kung ano nandiyan sa ilalim. You know where to press. So if, kunyari, you feel a lump here, hardened lump, don't be scared. Just massage it. Break Break the hardened milk, and once you've broken it, express palabas. Okay, okay. Yeah. all right. And then, 
how to avoid red or swollen breasts, okay? This is what we call mastitis. So mastitis happens yun nga. If there's stuck up milk and it can't go out, yan, nag nag infection, nagiging red siya. So first, warm compress. So you can get a hot towel or yun yung mga pang warm compress natin, no? Um, just put it for about 15 minutes over the area where it's red. And then you can do like a circular motion to break it and then express it. If the redness still, still occurs or if there's fever, of course, it's time for you to consult your ob guy. Okay. Now, blisters. How can we kind of mm. help uh, help ourselves with the blisters? So it will really be there. So use nursing pads lang. If you have blisters, you know, it may protect from touching the shirt of your skin and all that. Um, I know some women who kind of like wear their bikini tops parang uh -huh. in the house. Kasi parang... Mm -hmm. I guess it's less abrasive wearing, True. you know, um, a normal uh, bra. Feeding and bra, then, yes. Yes, okay. And then, okay, so you can clean with cotton and, cotton and clean water. So either um, boiled water or distilled water, you can clean that, okay? Mm -hmm. Avoid washing it too much kasi the soap causes dryness. Yan. Okay. Kasi sometimes pag may blisters, yung hilig natin maglinis, magsabon, na ganyan-ganyan, kasi baka ma-infect. Actually, you're drying it out more. Masasakit. Okay? Then, you can apply all these oils in the market. No? In any mommy store will have all these things. Okay? So, you can. Right. Um, ah. Okay. Last topic na to. Yan. When will I get my menstruation again? So, usually, no, um, if you're lactating, you ovulate mga four weeks up to 18 months, okay? If you're not breastfeeding, mas mabilis. Four to six weeks, okay. meron ka na ulit. So parang after a month, a month and a half, oh my, I have my period again, right? But if you're <laughs> breastfeeding, eto, and Wait. breastfeeding, ito ha, may rule siya. 15 minutes, six to seven times in a 24-hour period, okay? Uh -huh. That kind of delays ovulation. Okay, again, um, it's not 100% that you won't ovulate. It's not 100% that you're protected um, from getting pregnant again as long as you're uh, breastfeeding. So uh, let's not think of it that way. It has some protection, pero not 100%. Tapos yun, yung breastfeeding, kung two times a day ka lang mag-breastfeed, the rest, bote, hindi yun considered breastfeeding by definition. Okay? okay? So ang breastfeeding is 15 minutes, 6 to 7 times in twenty-four in a 24-hour period. Ovulation can occur even without yes. So, ito na yung nangyayari, di ba? Na, <laughs> Surprise! Do, parang you're pregnant again. Okay, so, yeah. so, menstruation can be also anovulatory, meaning the opposite naman, na you're menstruating, pero wala pa talagang egg. Anovulatory okay. means wala pang egg na naano. So, it can, kumbaga, it can happen kahit anong, you know, anything, any of those things. So, um, breastfeeding alone, that's why breastfeeding alone is not, um, considered a form of contraception. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It so, can, but it doesn't yes, mean it that can, it's... So then there are other forms of contraception no, um, that uh, we can use, no? So you ask na lang your OB about all these yes. other forms. Okay. Um, so I thought, I, I wanted to give a slide for this or to oh, talk about okay. it a bit. Because um, this is also part of loving ourselves, no? Mm -hmm. And accept, and you know, because... Um, this is part of who we are as women, right? And if we can't go back to this usual activity, then it kind of lessens also our self-esteem, diba? I Correct. know we're not so interested in it while well, we're so busy also, <laughs> no? But um, it's something we also have to talk about. And okay. it will also help. Um, kunyari, you're feeling very parang far from your partner na kasi hindi tumutulong, you're so tired, ganyan. But maybe a little intimacy will help regain that connection and then he also can parang oh yeah you know i need to help friend diba? mm -hmm. so it i'm saying it can help with mm -hmm. um other things as well okay so when can you resume two weeks after delivery okay um based on desire and comfort syempre if you feel like especially yes. if you have a little wound down there no um if you're not so comfortable yet, the shampre parang it's it's very difficult, no? Um, you have to also know that it may be unpleasant due to incomplete healing of the wound, pa some bleeding, um, you know, again, and then exhaustion from a newborn. Um, cesarean patients actually can resume earlier. Oh, Kasi there's no wound, the man. Yes, there's no wound there down there, right? 
Mm-mm. So you can so, actually initiate earlier. So um, yun yeah. So I think you, I, I'm sure for us moms, for moms out there, parang this is farthest from your mind. But this is really also part of loving your body as a woman. Okay, you have to parang try to get back to who you were before you were a mom. This is part of your totality as well, diba? So that's why I wanted to give um, a slide for us. No, let's not set this aside. And it really, really also helps with the connection between you and your partner, especially in this new phase of your life where you're raising uh, a child. A human being, yeah. Yes, yes, diba? Magkoconnect kayo niyan eh, diba? And then you'll remember why you were together in the first place, right? And then yan na, it will start na, you know, okay, you're planning towards having a, a you know, how to raise your child and all that. Right. No? So this is really, I feel, this is really where... Um, it can add not i won't say it where it starts but where it, it can add to the to the closeness no okay um so i guess this is my second to the last slide i chose this because it's very it's a very powerful picture yeah the text diba parang and i'm sure you guys have seen this already online so this is everything diba in summary all the stretch marks the loose skin the fat no um but yun nga, I guess the, the main thing is really embrace the changes of your body after pregnancy because as we had mentioned before, it won't naman last forever. May it will it will at some point end. There are some changes that will never really go back to normal, but it will get better, like the stretch marks and the looseness of the skin and all that. Okay. Um, my last slide is um, I hope that you know through this little lecture or parang uh, a forum we had no uh, i i helped you know what to expect from your body after delivery and i hope that it lessens your anxiety and it will decrease your depression or sadness but it will help you enjoy the Perfect. greatest gift that you have right now your baby okay so really the importance is uh, the important thing is really knowing what to expect para hindi kayo matakot. so i guess that's my last slide these are my two babies Oh, then, I was going to ask my, that. I, oh. Yeah, that's why oh, I can show them. Because, uh, <laughs> then this one naman is yan. This is how we are delivering during the pandemic. Yes. Um, yeah. okay. Astronauts. Yes. Life goes on though. Life goes on. <laughs> Galing. Galing. And we keep delivering babies. Okay, so I, that's my last slide. I will stop sharing. Okay. Before we, we end, Doc, uh, let me just thank you on behalf of everyone here. You know, you're doing a great job. Thank you for being there for us still uh, continuing your practice and helping us deliver our our uh, precious babies uh, with what you do. But also, thank you so much for sharing everything that you've shared with us today. Uh, I like everything that you mentioned, lalo na yung um, knowing what you're getting yourself into, knowing yeah. what to expect once, you know, everything... We expect kasi that it ends after childbirth, but the truth is that's really where it starts, especially for us moms, uh, the parents, and us moms talaga. I have to stress that there are so many things that happen to you, and knowing what's going to happen to you, or at least an idea of it, will help you um, deal with it better. And also, what you mentioned earlier, dealing with it better will help you appreciate and enjoy your child better also. So uh, thank you for everything, and for really going into detail kasi say a lot of the things especially the ones in the beginning the biological changes we don't get to hear about that so much we don't get to study oh. that so much I, so I'm thank you for I thought the i bored you with it no no kasi <laughs> yun yung kailangan natin marinate ano, medical Mm-mm. Yes, no, but that's what we need to know because that's exactly what I, it's very fresh for me. That those are the things that I went through right after I I had my newborn. Yes, I was so happy, I was in love and all that. But there are also aside from being sleep deprived and all that, and dami mong na in experience then um, that can really uh, it can trouble you in a way, and it can also get have you worrying a lot, especially now that we can't go see our doctors as often as we want. Yes, uh, yes. So it's good to know these things. So if you have friends uh, to our viewers who are uh, going to give birth or new moms, you have to share this video with them. Anyway, 
Doc, we do have a lot of moms here who have many questions for you. We're going to have to uh, choose a few uh, that we are going to uh, answer. So I hope that's okay. Let's go to this one from Trisha Ocampo. She is going back to one of the first topics that we discussed. And she's talking about when we uh, go to the bathroom after giving birth. So her question goes, can my defecation return to normal after my i got my epishotomy it's been two years now but i still have trouble pooping unlike before i had my baby so i think this is something we need to uh, address um, so i guess my question is what kind of trouble is she constipated or mm -hmm. um is she is she bringing out stool parang incontinence or mm -hmm. so that, that's the question no? so can my defecation turn yeah she didn't mention uh, but, but maybe we uh, um yeah, I, I need what's to your know, next step? No. Basically, siguro, my next step would be just to consult a doctor about it. Because it normally back, okay. it should be back na, no? So if it's as simple as constipation, then um, you know, just all those things I mentioned in the lecture could help. Okay. But if it's an issue of incontinence or um, maybe the hemorrhoid still being there and still being very painful, then maybe after two years she should um seek medical advice. So I think um, a bunch of our questions here are actually uh, similar to that. Uh, what do I do if I still experience hair loss even two oh. years after uh, giving birth? So, I, Doc, I, I think it would be proper for these major specifics. So like you really yeah. have to consult with your with your correct. doctor. Correct. So these, they, it, these days, yeah. yes, sorry. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah, no, correct. Because these can be, there can be other issues already. Specific. You know? so, mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, diba what I mentioned, the, parang, the hair loss is until one year. But you know, there will be so, some people who extend a little bit more. So I guess if it's too long, um, yeah, you should consult uh, usually dermatologists. No? For so that they one consult now. dermatologists, yeah. So they can help with some hair growth uh, medicine or anything like that. So similar lang yung mga other questions. But we do have one more from Trisha once yeah. again. And this one, okay. she goes, Doc, how will I know if I'm having postpartum depression or depression na talaga? Two years uh, old na kasi yung baby ko and grabe pa din yung emotions and yung happy, sad changes ng mood ko. So this is a, a yeah, important so question. This one, yun nga. If it's too long talaga, you see, you see talaga uh, medical advice then. Medi uh, uh, do a doctor's opinion, no? So two years is a little bit too long for, uh, no, it's actually too long for baby blues. And if it's Definitely. postpartum depression, um, you actually need um, professional advice. So the best, uh, so thank you, Trisha. So for all the other questions that are similar, parang puro ganun yung theme nila. So best oh. parang to Basta see basically uh, experts. Lang kung matagal na, diba? Kung matagal uh -oh. na seek your seek professional help go back to your ob your ob can refer you to a psychologist um or a psychiatrist no you might need some medications temporarily mm -hmm. it doesn't mean ever no just just to like regulate your mood and maybe balance out your hormones all right thank you so much to everyone for sending in their questions um we I think a lot of it was very clear na rin kasi, Doc, to everything that you mentioned and explained. A lot of it brought light to uh, what was, is happening to most of us and what may have happened and uh, is bringing a lot of information to those for what they should expect. So thank you, Doc, for all of that. Um, I guess we just want to know what's your pinaka takeaway for them today, Dr. Ramilan. Maybe you can share your last words lang before yeah. we close off. I guess yun nga, in my last slide, right? So just really knowing what happens to your body after pregnancy and then accepting it and uh, doing the appropriate, you know, changes or tips or whatever just to alleviate those things that you're feeling. And then at the end of the day, it's really loving your body and accepting it. No, you've, you've just delivered a human being, right? Yeah. So don't be so hard on yourself. Yes. Yeah, nothing yun, yun is talaga. forever. Magpapalit naman. I mean, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll end. And yun nga, I think one thing from, from one um, mom 
who's going through it still uh, to another. It's You have to just look at your baby and remind yourself, so I did that. <laughs> yeah. I did that. That body, this yeah. body did made that and yeah. brought that to the world. So how can you uh, not love your body? Yeah. So thank you yes, so much. Correct. You're welcome, Dr. everyone. I'm Dr. seeing some of the comments. So yeah, Do you want to adjust anything? Now. No, no, no. I'm just seeing and they are all correct. Tama. Yes. You know, it's really acceptance. You know, don't 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 deny it. Don't feel like you're a superhero. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Lowering okay. your expectations, managing yes. your expectations. Also, I think this this world, because we're everyone expects people to be perfect. Yes. And it's just not it, right? And you are perfect, dear baby. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay, you can't see, see it with that. Yeah, but you. The, Perfect in terms no, of by the book, social, perfect. yes. Yeah, no, forget the that. society because yeah. we bring yeah. on a lot of pressure to ourselves. So, mommies, Correct. to all the moms out there, you can do anything and everything to prepare yourselves for your babies and for the changes that are going to come your way. Do that. Um, diba, like Doc mentioned, um, make sure that you inform yourself and all of that. You prepare your body, you prepare your mind. Like I mentioned, make sure that you have the proper tools. For me, it was really choosing the right um, brands and the, the right tools for me in welcoming and taking care of my baby. Huggies would be one of them. Uh, making sure I have the right diaper because that, that helps a lot too, guys. Please make sure you have the right one for your babies. Um, but ultimately... You just have to let go and just go with the flow and just uh, do your best and take care of that little baby of yours. Thank you very much, Dr. Camille and Abaya, for joining us here today. We hope to learn from you more um, on a different episode. But everything that you taught us here today is going to be so helpful to many moms. And I, we're recommending dads to watch this too because I think it will be helpful for, for uh, the parents. Thank you, Dr. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Welcome. Thank you, Dr. Milan. And that's all the time that we have actually for today, moms. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. But don't forget, um, as just as you take care of yourselves, one thing to remember is to really just make sure that you have the right partner in taking care of your newborn. I can't stress this enough. Your newborns are your uh, the most precious things to you, of course. And that's why you have to make sure that Huggies is your perfect partner because uh, Huggies is really going to make sure that it takes care of your newborn with the Huggies Dry Newborn and Small, which is specially designed for your little one's delicate skin. It hurts us so much when we even see a small rash on our newborns, right, moms? So make sure that we have the proper protection for them. So our babies, their skin needs protection. And you can be sure that if the baby's happy and protected, you'll really have more time to take care of yourself. Um, Dr. Milan mentioned earlier, take that time, whether it's three hours or 30 minutes to take care of yourself. Um, if your baby is uh, fed, if your baby is uh, wearing uh, newly changed with their comfortable diaper like Huggies Dry Newborn, if they are you know, swaddled and comfortable and they're sleeping, you have time to take care of you naman. So whether that means running to the salon pre-pandemic or these days watching a movie, uh, having your cup of coffee, whatever it is, it gives you that time to really give back to you naman because you have to take care of yourself. You have to make sure that mom is okay but you can continue on with the rest of your day because it it goes on and on and on, right? So you have to take care of yourself, recharge so that you can continue on and take care of your beautiful babies. And that concludes our session for today, everyone. But before I let you go, I do want to remind you all that we are giving away stuff. We do have a game. So don't forget to answer our question in the comment section and our raffle as well. So don't forget to visit bit.ly or bit.ly slash babyhugs2021 to view the full mechanics and get a chance to win one month's supply or one month's worth of Huggy diapers. You want this. I know you do. So go ahead and check it out. The link is pinned in our comment section and Mommy Mundo will be the ones to uh, contact our winner. So good luck with that one. And we have just learned so much today. It's the perfect way to end our day, ba? So there's so much we've learned and we've had our chances at giveaways. Good luck to all those who will be joining. We had a great expert joining us here today. Thank you to everyone who joined us and make sure that this video is going to be here. So in case they didn't get to watch it live or your 
partners didn't get to watch it live, your friends who are expecting didn't get to watch it live, share it with them so that they can learn as well. Thank you so much to Mommy Mundo. Thank you to Huggies. Thank you to, to Dr. Milan. Stay updated on live sessions and workshops on Mommy Mundo by joining the Mommy Mundo community. And if you haven't done so, simply go to www.mommymundo.com and click on the sign up now button for instant access to exclusive news, updates that will be sent to your email. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for the latest event schedules, mommy products, and news. And please do give our podcast hashtag you the mom a follow, a listen as well. And you can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you guys get your podcasts. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you once again to Mommy Mundo, to Huggies, to Dr. Milan, to everyone who joined us. We had so much fun. We hope to see you guys in the next one. And we will see you at the next Mommy Mundo event happening on Monday. That's at 8 p.m. Check out at Mommy Mundo on Facebook and Instagram for more details. Don't forget to check out your Huggies, newborn or dry newborn diapers in the newborn and small for your babies at the cart later guys see you guys and thank you very much bye love yourselves moms mula sa una mong iyak hanggang sa una nating yakap wala akong ibang iniisip kundi ang alagaan ka ang Huggies dry newborn ay may runny poo leak guard at all-around cottony softness. Kasama mong mag-aalaga mula sa una hanggang sa susunod pang mga yakap. Huggies Dry Newborn. Also available, Huggies Pure Clean Wipes. Change was a distant word. There was a time that would only encounter it a few times in a decade. Today, I know that every day will bring change. There will be moments where I'll embrace it. But most of the time, I know I'll resist, hoping to fold the edge of the page of what has become my favorite story yet. I knew you before I met you. That's a funny thing. But I still had so many questions about you and to ask you. The pain with which you came left me breathless. From then on, nothing has been the same. I see myself in you, and in the same time, I see all that you do through you. Discovering every color and note with you. Learning how to smile despite the weariness. Developing the handy skill of doing everything half asleep. Staring helplessly at every how to parent guide available. Those first few months felt like a blink. So I kept my eyes open hoping that I wouldn't miss a thing. These moments are rare, but I know that even for a little while, on days like today, when the wind is still and the sun lingers, I can take a mental picture and hold on to this memory, comforted that it won't be changed.